The National Democratic Congress has accused President Kufuado of being disingenuous in his stance on free speech and public dissent, despite uh, his position of non-interference in the judiciary's handling of protests in an interview with France 24. According to Director of Legal Affairs of the NDC, lawyer Eduji Tamaklo, the president's body language and actions suggest he is not uh, supportive of dissent, referencing his reluctance to intervene in the arrest of protesters. The president has never been in support of any dissent. And if you look at his body language towards persons who tell him in the face the failure that he had brought onto this country, the mismanagement, both of our environment, the economy, our education, among other things. Look, a clear example. Recently, when the president of the Ghana Journalists Association, right in front of him, rebuked him relative to the fight against Galamse. When the GGA president went back to sit with the president, his body language was clear that he was not happy with what the GGA president said. Look at the high-handed manner in which the Ghana police, the attorney general, acting upon the instruction of the president, had dealt with these protesters against Galamse. And so when the president says on France um, 24 that, oh, he's not a jailer and he's not what have you, He's been disingenuous because, first of all, under Article 83 of the 1992 Constitution, the person who initiates all criminal prosecution is the Attorney General. What is even more curious in the specific case of the protesters is that, look, for misdemeanors, it is the police officers who usually will come to the circuit courts, district courts, to prosecute. But in this specific case, the Attorney General has taken over the case and the one doing the prosecution. What it tells you is that the president had vested interest in what happens to the prosecutors. And, and, and for me, and that is why the NDC has expressed serious misgivings. So it's as though you are even punishing them before their guilt is established before the court. That certainly is not how to encourage protest. When they were in court, their lawyers made the argument. And the attorney general opposed the bail application. But it was granted by a court, and that is not related to the executive, is Who there? took the matter to court? Do courts initiate prosecution of individual? Have you seen a court prefer charges against an individual? But the courts could have decided not to remand them if they wanted to. That that's a different matter. But the attorney general prayed that they should not be granted bail. Yes, but it was accepted by the court. That is what it is. But I'm saying that you don't go and put charges before a court and tell the court that remand A, B, C, D. And if the court agrees with you, you say it is the court. You play the part. If the president is not in support with the prosecution, he should instruct his attorney general to file a nolle prosequa. Why do you want to isolate the executive? Who did the arrest? The executive arm through the police. Who did or started or initiated the prosecution? The executive arm, the attorney general. And I'm telling you that for misdemeanors, it's police officers, police prosecutors who go to court. Because the president has a vested interest in this particular matter, it is the attorney general himself that is prosecuting them.